From an Easter egg that requires you waiting over 150 hours to the funniest detail in the Family Guy game, these are 27 AFK secrets in video games. The Witcher 3 has been out for eight years, but there's always that one Easter egg that nobody finds. The devs started to call it the last secret, and it wasn't until 2022 when Ex Letalis finally uncovered it. One of the characters in game is Vivian, a woman who slowly transforms into a bird due to a curse. Once you get to the end of her quest line, there is an option to cure her, but Geralt reveals one problem. The changes will be irreversible. You'll probably also only have seven years left to live. Now, little do we know he wasn't kidding because players who waited the entire seven years could return to Vivian and watch as she drops dead on the spot. <gasps> Although things are a little less morbid when it comes to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. While remaking it, the devs had the chance to add a relevant Easter egg, so whenever you leave the room to grab a snack, there's a chance you'll return to see SpongeBob mocking you. If you like playing as Patrick instead and do the same thing, he'll actually do the surprised meme face from the movie. Kinda reminds me of GTA San Andreas, which has way more detail than you might remember. For a PS2 game, Rockstar didn't hold back, and that's why CJ won't just stand around and instead breaks into his favorite songs. Now it's understandable if you want to put down the controller and grab a drink. I mean, we all need coffee sometimes, but not as much as Audrey from Bendy in the Dark Revival. At the very start of the game, she's hard at work animating and decides she needs some coffee. Well, actually the choice is in your hands and you can press X to stand, but what if you just sit there waiting? After a full 20 minutes, she'll actually get sleepy, doze off, and then the credits will roll. Moving on to a classic WWE game, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 is loaded with secrets. Like when you're in career mode, eventually it'll be time for the Royal Rumble, and backstage you'll get a number that tells you when to enter the ring. But if you just sit there and don't accept it, Mickey James will say this. I'm getting the feeling you just like watching me do this. Continue being AFK afterwards, and pretty soon she'll get pissed. Okay, I'm done spinning. Take your number and get out of here. Good luck. A more recent game is Pizza Tower, an indie platformer inspired by Wario Land. The reviews on Steam are absolutely insane, and once you see the details, you'll understand why. At the very start, you need to turn on the building's power, but what if you don't want to? Well, let's just say it becomes a horror game real quick. And while we're on the topic of unnecessary Easter eggs, Far Cry 4 has an entirely different ending that you can unlock in just a few minutes. During the intro, Pagan Min invites you to dinner, but has to leave to take a quick call. Please, stay right here. Enjoy the Crab Rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Now this is an open world game, so most of us are gonna run straight out of here, but if you politely wait for almost 15 minutes, he'll return. This starts a short quest with secret cutscenes, a way to grieve your mom, and then the game just ends. If you ask someone what Gran Turismo is known for, I don't think anyone would say the Easter eggs. But the latest entry actually has a hidden secret on the Mount Panorama track. Make sure to park at the Frog Hollow turn and sit here for like 10 minutes. After a while, if you look into the distance, you'll see a UFO abducting cows. And while we're talking about aliens, you can actually play as them and destroy all humans. Just make sure you don't start scrolling TikTok inside the mothership. Didn't anyone tell you? The name of the game is Destroy All Humans, not Screw Around on the Mothership. A little more of an innocent secret can be found in Super Mario Odyssey. If you decide to leave Mario all on his own, he actually loves the break because he'll dream about pasta and Princess Peach all while little birds land on his nose. Speaking of fun details, Hogwarts Legacy lets you choose a character straight from the menu, but if you're taking a long time, special animations will play. Whether it's books flying around or the Golden Stitch taunting you, either way, it's totally worth the wait. But one of the greatest idle animations of all time can be found in Rage. If you go AFK while holding an RPG, the last thing you'd expect to find is a secret feature. After just a few minutes, your character flips the screen and starts playing an entire retro Doom level to pass the time. I also never expected to be terrified of Goku. In Budokai 3, if you enter a match and don't play for around 10 minutes, your character will actually get annoyed and stare straight into your soul. And that's not even the creepiest thing a character does. Five Nights at Treasure Island is obviously a fan game based on FNAF, except it's Mickey Mouse chasing you around instead. Dare to take too long pressing play on the opening menu and you'll instantly regret it. Hey yo, what the f 
Another thing you regret finding is this secret boss in Cuphead. The game is notoriously hard, so you would never think to stop attacking. I mean, that would be insane, right? Well, when it comes to Ollie Bulb, if you just sit there and don't hit him, you'll unlock a hidden Easter egg. After a little while, a secret boss will take his place and the fight is so much harder. And at that point, you just want it to end, but be careful what you wish for, because in truth or square, putting down your controller causes SpongeBob to die. He starts by slowly getting older and older, even growing a full beard before eventually... <laughs> The latest Street Fighter clearly had a lot of love put into it, but the devs really went all out with the details. When playing as Ryu, his classic idol animation shows him prepping for a fight, but once his own theme starts playing, he moves perfectly in time with the music. But we can't talk about Easter eggs without bringing up LEGO Star Wars because I've never seen so much effort put into hundreds of different characters. Like when playing as the Mandalorian and Grogu, if you leave him unsupervised, he'll find a frog and eat it whole. <laughs> And I also gotta bring up Anakin Skywalker. If you decide to take a small break, he'll foreshadow the rise of Darth Vader. And I gotta admit, one of the funniest secrets I've ever seen is in Metal Gear Solid 3. As you progress throughout the game, you'll eventually get ambushed by an old man called The End. It is a super tough boss battle and lasts a ridiculously long time, so I understand players quitting who needed a break. Unless that break is over a week, because if you waited seven entire days and booted the game back up, The End, who's over 100 years old, will now have died of natural causes. What? Now, one week sounds like a pretty long time, but what if you want to give up on your favorite game forever? Fans of Stanley Parable don't have a reason to come back once they've got every ending, and the game actually encourages you to go out and touch some grass. By not opening it for five years, you'll earn the Go Outside achievement, and if you reach a decade of not playing, you'll get super Go Outside. Although there is a main character who doesn't want you to go, and that's Sonic. Now, he's already known for going fast, like it's pretty much his whole personality, so if you keep him waiting too long in Sonic CD, he'll just straight up leave. I'm out of here. Taking it over to Half-Life, this series has always been known for its detail, but in the very first game, you could pick up a snark from its nest. These can be thrown at enemies to annihilate them, but in Black Mesa, if you're holding one for too long, you'll get the cutest animations. Yeah, super adorable, but whatever you do, don't mess around with a loaded gun in Metro Redux. Anytime your character gets bored, they'll play with whatever items in their hands, and if that's a shotgun, they'll quickly learn not to tamper with it. <laughs> What the hell? If it's this weapon, don't wait too long because they'll throw it up into the air and you'll instantly regret it. Come on, man. And it's not just yourself that you're hurting when you put the controller down. In Prince of Persia The Two Thrones, the Dark Prince takes it personally. While he's possessing your character, he'll get way too angry about you disappearing. Whatever you're doing, it's taking entirely too long. Hello, have you forgotten how to move? <laughs> Someone else who needs anger management is Homer Simpson, and in Hit and Run, you can play as any of the characters. Now, they all have pretty boring idol animations, except for Homer, who really has to pee when you step away. And obviously, you gotta appreciate his total lack of embarrassment as well. Another fun TV show video game is Family Guy Back to the Multiverse, and it is absolutely loaded with references. Now, one of my favorites is when you go AFK as Stewie. He'll quote the episode where he goes back to college with Brian. Uh, you reach Stewie and Brian. We're not here right now. Uh, and if this is mom, uh, send money because we're college students and we need money for books and ramen noodles and... Fortnite also has some insanely cool details that you can only notice by leaving the room. If you do an emote that cooks food, try not to get carried away because doing it for too long will actually burn it and eventually it'll light on fire. And those were AFK Easter eggs in video games. It's been Sammy. Keep it here on T5G.